Hello and welcome to this PITCO training video. Often customers find they have a growing business and need to add more fryers to their kitchen. PITCO makes it very easy for those customers to add on to existing fryer banks in the field. You can order an add-on fryer for either the left or the right side of the bank. However, for this video we will be showing a right side installation. Inspect the kit for all the necessary components. The kit should include one channel strip, one three ounce tube of sealant, one drain with some clamps, the drain T flange and ferrule, gas connection, quick disconnect gas hose, and a side panel cover. As you can see, only basic tools are needed to perform this task. When you receive the add-on fryer, verify there is no damage and peel all the laser film plastic from the fryer. The unit comes with the drain return line already plumbed, the power cord and DBI jumper wire installed and ready to connect to the existing fryer bank. On the existing fryer, remove the side panel cover by removing the two 5 16 inch screws and remove the button plug. On the add-on fryer, remove the four nuts and bolts from the bottom of the fryer and set aside for later use. On the back of the existing fryer bank, remove the four 5 16 inch rear screws from the side that you are adding the fryer to. Set the screws aside for later use. Align the add-on fryer with the existing fryer bank. Insert return line through the hole in the side of the existing fryer and route the power and DVI cords underneath so it does not become pinched between the fryers. Once the fryers are aligned properly, reinsert the four 5 16 inch screws back into the fryer. Do not completely tighten these screws yet. Loosen the four 7 16 inch bolts from each caster on the mounting side of the add-on fryer and remove the front and rear caster. With the casters removed, reinstall the four mounting nuts and bolts which you removed earlier to attach the fryers at its base. These should now be fully tightened at this time.
Moving on to the front of the fryer, we will now remove the existing drain lines and install the needed parts to join the add-on fryer's drain into the rest of the equipment's drain manifold. Loosen the drain line tensioning nut. This can be done with a spanner wrench, strap wrench, or as shown here in the video using a large blade screwdriver or chisel and a striking instrument. Remove the two attaching bolts for the drain elbow on the fryer attached to the add-on unit. Once everything is loose, remove the drain elbow and the drain line from the fryer cabinet and set aside for later use. While the drain line is out of the way, Attach the DVI cord from the add-on fryer to the mating plug from the original fryer bank. This plug should be located in the front right corner of the original bank's fryer cabinet. At this point, you will need the drain tee from the add-on fryer kit. Before reinstalling the drain assembly, inspect the O-rings on both sides of the drain. They should be free from defects and debris. If needed, clean or replace the O-rings before reassembly to prevent possible leaks. Slide the original drain assembly back into place and install the drain tee where the elbow was removed. Reinstall both mounting bolts and tighten the drain tee to the fryer. Once the drain tee is tight, expand the drain assembly as far as possible to the left and the right and tighten the drain line tensioning nut. The tensioning nut should be tight enough to prevent leaks, yet loose enough to allow the drain spout to pivot easily. You will now need the drain extension, clamps, and red gaskets from the add-on kit. Slide one of the red gaskets over the open end of the tee and attach the drain extension. Center the gasket over the mating position of the drain pieces and position the bracket so that the clamping mechanism is located on the bottom side of the drain piping. Once tightened, slide the gray thread cap onto the exposed threads. Attach the elbow which you removed from the original fryer bank to the add-on fryer along with another red gasket and bracket. Tighten the two bolts for the elbow. Align the bracket and the gasket in a similar manner as the first and tighten. Install the gray thread protector on the exposed threads once everything is tight.
slightly loosen the screws for the attaching flange on the back of the unit and flatten out the brackets if they are bowed. Retighten all eight screws. Connect the power cord jumper from the add-on fryer to the entrance box of the fryer it was attached to. Use the middle plug. Secure the cord to the entrance box using a zip tie as seen here on the top cord. Remove the cap on the oil return line provided with the add-on fryer and the left cap of the three-way valve of the original fryer. Attach the oil return line to the three-way fitting and tighten. Using the provided sealant, apply a bead of sealant along the gap between the fryers and smooth with your finger. Peel the plastic from the provided channel strip and press onto the fryer. A rubber mallet may be needed to seat the strip properly. Depending on the customer or application, you can or will need to install the provided gas manifold. This manifold extends the existing manifold over to the newly added on fryer and will use the existing single gas line connection. Make sure to clean any debris out of the gas line prior to making final connections. If the add-on fryer is being supplied with its own gas line, you do not need to install the provided manifold extension. Simply connect your gas line to the provided fitting on the add-on fryer. You will need to verify proper gas line size and gas pressures to make sure it is suitable for the add-on fryer. Your add-on fryer should now be completely installed and 100% operational. Thank you for watching this Pitco training video. Please visit our website at www.pitco.com to view other training videos or technical documents. You may also contact a Pitco service technician by phone at 603-225-6684.